Hey guys, Houndoomed here, coming at you once again with another episode of Pokemon Emerald. On the last episode, we explored Route 111, uh, well the desert part of it anyway, uh, and on this episode we're going to be taking on the Petalburg Gym, uh, which is a normal type gym, um, so Atlas is obviously going to be shining, but uh, we're going to have Buzz up front just to begin things off. Um, so yeah, we're going to be taking on our dad. Uh, so you can go through any which room you like um, and the door will tell you what um, they kind of specialize in this room is obviously a speed room the ability to attack before the opponent just that alone puts me at a great advantage don't you agree maybe so but um, I'm leading with a Pokemon that could probably outspeed you so won't worry about it that's well though well lovely <laughs> I can see quick attacks coming though all right, let's go for Silver Wind anyway. Should do a fair amount to this Swallow. Well, yeah, that's fine. Even with the crit, that's fine. Wing attack, that will do a lot. Hmm, that's very iffy whether I'm going to be able to take that out now. Oh well. Oh really? Well, I wouldn't expect that to take me out. All right, well let's go into Ellie and finish this off with a Shockwave. So I should be outspeeding. Yep. So yeah, each room will specialise in a certain stat. Um, like there will be accuracy room, speed room, power room, defence room, all of those kind of rooms. Um, that was a magnificent battle. Thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, you can take them all out um, as much as you want. Uh, well, not as much as you want, but you can take them out um, in whatever order you like. Um, I am just going to take them all out because why not? I mean, it's a waste of experience if you don't. So, yeah. Um, you can see what's happening with this spinder. Obvious teeter dance is obvious, but let's just go for a psi beam. Um, this um, gym is, I would argue, to be um, probably one of the hardest in the entire game um, because. Uh, Norman has some very tough Pokemon. Um, his lead isn't that fantastic, but um, the rest of his Pokemon, like his lead, is very frustrating. But the rest of his Pokemon are, well, one of them is particularly incredibly strong, um, while some others are kind of a bit, yeah. I mean, they're quite strong. Let's just say that they're quite strong. <laughs> so yeah, you might want to watch out for them. Um, but anyway. So Jody here has a Zangoose. Watch out for this thing because this is a very powerful Pokemon, and um, definitely always likes to Swords Dance, and will usually open up with that. So be very careful. So yeah, as you can see, it's going for a Swords Dance. Um, but if you can, it's not particularly. It's it's fast, but it's not that fast. But also, it um, isn't very defensive at all. So. Um, yeah, you'll definitely be able to take it out relatively easily, but just obviously make sure that you don't get taken out first. <laughs> anyway, so Welly's almost level 32, that's fun. Let's head back just so we can take out the other rooms. So let's go this side. Defense room. So obviously, as you would expect, all of the Pokemon in here are normal types, um, which can be slightly more frustrating than you might think because obviously they only have one weakness um, and this wiggly tough is a bit frustrating but um, they only have one weakness so you definitely want to um, exploit that one weakness um, they tend to have a lot of different um, they tend to have a lot of different um, types of moves like they're very diverse in their move sets and they also tend to have um, a lot of defense usually as well. Well, with the exception of the Zangoose, but this Wigglytuff has quite a bit of defense. Or well, HP anyway, it has a lot of HP. Um, but anyway, that didn't go down too badly. So we grow up to level 32. Alright, our defenses weren't enough. They were not. Alright, so we have some new rooms open now. Um, well, let's go into Atlas. Buzz is going to have to do a lot of catch up after this gym. Um, but that's fine, we're going to be having a surf episode after this. Which is going to be kind of weird timing because the next Black 2 episode is also a, um, 
a surf episode, so yeah. Uh, gonna be having both at the same time. Anyway, so. Burke here, one of the final trainers, has a Vigoroth, level 26. Let's go for revenge. No way that Vigoroth is. Um, uh, no way it's surviving that. Anyway. Your power. You're the real deal. I know. I know indeed. Alright, so that's the gym leader's room. I think there's one more trainer we have left to take out. I think there's one anyway. Maybe. I think there might be two. One or two anyway. Alright, so. Let's head into this room. The accuracy room. Uh, this girl has a Delcatty, which has um, a lot of moves which are 100% um, accurate, such as uh, Faint Attack and um, Shockwave. Faint Attack and Shockwave. Can't think of any others, but I know that she has those. Anyway, so there's the Delcatty, level 26. Let's go for Revenge. This is going to do nothing. Absolutely nothing. This Delcati is nothing special to worry about. Uh, it's very weak in both defences and offences, so regardless of the accuracy, you're going to be taking pretty pretty much nothing from this thing at all times. Um, defence room. We've taken that room out already. And recovery room. So you can see where this is going. This looks like our final fight. Um, Atlas is fine. I will go heal um, just before the gym leader. We want everyone to be at full strength because this is going to be a tough fight. Well then again I did say that Flannery would be a tough fight. Um, didn't end up being so bad but it was kind of tough. Hmm, what move is he using? I'm using negative priority. Oh well whatever, we'll never know. The slack off is down. And got to level 32. Everyone's even. Alright, so. I couldn't restore HP enough. What attack power. Yes. My Atlas is living up to its name. Alright, so that's all the uh, gym trainers. So let's just head out and um, heal quickly. Uh, and then we will go back to the gym. And fight our father. And hopefully win. Uh, I think I will probably save beforehand, but uh, even so, it's going to still be still be a tough one, I reckon. This fight, I don't think is as bad as um, Ruby and Sapphire, because in Ruby and Sapphire he uses two of his... Like, he has a star, and then he has two of that Pokemon, and it is very tough to take out, so... Yeah. Um, also, this is a very good time if you have a Pokemon with the move protect um, this would be a great time to use it because um, well I'll explain more in the actual gym fight but um, did I take that girl on? Oh I did. I didn't recognize um, I didn't I didn't know that I'd fought her. <laughs> anyway whatever um, so yeah gym leaders room here we are Alright, so, here's our father, Norman. Um, I'm going to put Buzz up front, just because um, the lead Pokemon isn't anything too special. Uh, so, let's save, because why not? Okay. Hmm, so you did get four gym badges. Fine, as I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Sean, I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But, a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. Sean, you'd better give it your best shot too. That I will. So this is the fight against the normal type master, Norman. Our father, he leads with a Spinder, level 27, normal type with the ability Own Tempo, with the moves Psybeam, be careful if you're using a fighting type, uh, Encore, Tita Dance and Facade. Uh, I'm just going to leave with a Silver Wind here. In Ruby and Sapphire, he instead leads with a Slacking, level 28, normal type, with the ability Truant, with the moves Encore, Facade, Yawn, and Faint Attack. Uh, obviously, if you're um, 
in Ruby and Sapphire, you've got a bit of a tougher fight on your hands. But um, if you're lead if you're going against a Spinder, be careful of Teeter Dance, as that's a fairly frustrating move to deal with. Um, Vigoroth. Uh, I think we'll stay in. Why not? So this is Vigoroth, level 27, normal type, with the ability Vital Spirit, uh, with the moves Slash, Faint Attack, Encore, and Facade. In Ruby and Sapphire, he also has a Vigoroth, level 30, normal type, with the ability Vital Spirit, with the moves Slash, Faint Attack, Facade, and Encore. It's good to get that boost, actually. I quite like that. Don't know whether I'm going to be leaving this, though. Critical hit. Well, we'll never know. Bye, Buzz. Uh, right, so this is a Vigoroth, so I think I'm going to just have Razor out front. Um, Razor can deal with this thing, no problems. Let's go for a Leaf Blade. Alrighty. Let's get rid of that Vigoroth out of here. What next? What next? What next? Ah, so this is a new addition to his team in uh, Emerald. Um, I think I'm just going to keep Razor out for now. Alright, sorry, just had to cut away for a bit then. Uh, so this is Linoon, a new addition to his team in Emerald. Uh, level 29, normal type, with the ability Pick Up, with the moves Slash, Belly Drum, Headbutt, and Facade. Uh, obviously, all of his Pokemon have Facade, so be careful with that move. Um, you don't want to be paralyzing or... Um, well, Burn's fine, but you don't want to be paralyzing or poisoning any of his Pokemon. Uh, let's... Ellie up front, why not? Ellie can just finish this off. Although he's going to heal, obviously, but regardless of that. Actually, I'm going to set up a reflect while he does that, because why not? That would be um, a way to cushion any hits from the last Pokemon. Obviously, it's not going to stay up very long, but even so. Alright, let's go for a Psy Beam. Uh, two hit KO, good. Hmm, that did less than I thought. I mean, obviously there's the Reflect up, but even with the Reflect, um, even without the Reflect, that didn't do very much. Anyway, so we're on to the final Pokemon now, the star of his show. The big tough one. This is much worse than um, Ruby and Sapphire, trust me, but uh, this is Slacking, level 31, normal type, with the ability Truant. With the moves Yawn, Faint Attack, Counter, and Facade. Has a Citrus Berry. In Ruby and Sapphire, he also has a Slacking, level 31, normal type with the ability Truant, with the moves Focus Punch, Slack Off, Facade, and Faint Attack. Uh, he's obviously going to be using... Um, actually, he's uh, Slacking around, yeah. Uh, so Truant will make it so that um, his uh, Pokémon will be... Um, well, not his Pokémon, but this Pokémon, uh, will be only moving once every three turns. No, once every two turns, sorry. Um, so you can use that to your advantage by using the move Protect because it means that you can just protect any time that he is um, using... Uh, what am I looking for? Lava Cookie. Um, you can just protect any time he's using a move and then attack in any other move. Ah, oh, well this is fun. Whoops. Anyway, it should be dying this turn anyway. Let's go for Revenge. Uh, do be very careful with Focus Punch um, in Ruby and Sapphire. You don't want to be spending too much time setting up um, because that is a dangerous move. Very dangerous. Because uh, Slacking is an extremely powerful Pokemon. Uh, has a massive base attack stat and it is quite a high level so uh, do be careful. If you've got a Ghost type, I don't know what Ghost type you'd have at this point, but if you have a Ghost type, um, maybe a good idea to use it. Um, Obviously, you have got to be careful of faint attack, but even so, it's faint attack's not too strong. So anyway, you will get the balance badge from our father. With that badge, the defense of all your Pokemon will increase. Pokemon that know the HM move Surf will be able to travel over water. And this is my gift to you, Sean. I'm sure you can use it correctly. So he will give you TM42 for Facade. TM42 contains Facade. It doubles the power of moves if the power is poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. It might be able to turn a bad situation into an advantage. Um, I'm pretty sure that you still have the attack drop with um, with burn, so it's not going to be. It's just going to be doing normal damage with um, facade. Um, but yeah, it's a good move. 
As the gym leader, I can't express how upset I am, but as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. Who is this? Ah, oh, there you are, Sean. Please come with me. I have something I want you to have. Norman, you don't mind, do you? Let me borrow your Sean for a minute or two. Yeah, that's fine. First of all, don't let him answer, and second of all, you're taking me away from my father with promise of something that could be anything candy, possibly. Uh, Sean, please excuse us for dragging you here this way. Yes, well, I'm not going to excuse you, actually. But our Wally's become very healthy since he went to Verdant Turf Town. We will owe to you. When our Wally we left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think that made Wally really happy. Actually, not just Wally, it made me, his father, happy too. Well, why didn't you introduce yourself? You possible rapist. Anyway, <laughs> happy that uh, he's gained such a great friend as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. So he will give you HM3 for Surf, right then and there. If your Pokemon can Surf, you'll be able to go to all sorts of places. That you can. So let's teach that uh, move to um, our Meryl. Uh, obviously I don't have a main Pokemon to be able to use Surf yet, but I will do eventually. And by eventually I mean really eventually. I'm not going to have a uh, fifth Pokemon for a very long time. Um, let's get rid of Water Gun, who cares. Yeah, I'm going to be having four Pokemon until just before the seventh badge. And I'm not having a sixth. A sixth Pokemon is going to be an HM slave. So yeah, that's pretty much all we're going to be doing for this episode. I'm just going to heal, because why not? Um... So yeah, on the next episode we're probably going to be heading around everywhere surfing. Uh, there's quite a lot of areas to surf around um, that we haven't explored. Um, but yeah, so we will do all of that on the next episode. Uh, apologies for no Black 2 episode yesterday. Black 2 episode yesterday, rather. Um, I was very tired and, and I wasn't able to properly form a sentence together um, <laughs> but anyway so um, on the next episode we will be heading through uh, everywhere that can be done while surfing and then after that we'll be heading east of Moorville onto um, what on earth is that route the route that's heading up to Fortree anyway we're going to be traversing east anyway so until then I'll see you next time guys